you know, in this top eight, we saw a lot of birdie. And so I wanted to watch birdie, but I wanted to watch the Fudo Mika versus birdie match first to talk about some of the weaknesses of birdie that you're going to see in this set. One of the first things you see Fudo do in this set is the drop kick because to be ready for drop kick, you know, you kind of have to be, yeah, that's a great choice. You have to be looking for something like that crouching medium. I think this is a really good test from Fudo, right? Because when you do something like a drop kick, right? Your opponent immediately will log in their brain like, okay, he did a drop kick. That's my bad. I'll be ready for the next time he does some stupid shit like that. Jump. He's ready for some stupid shit. Fudo hits him with the extra stupid, which becomes the smart shit. And you don't get much damage from that, but you do get Oki, which is like, you know, that's a win. There's a punish, yeah. And a good one, too. He get, you get better Oki off Bullhorn. Charge drop kick, force the V reversal. In this version, with two bar V reversal on the chain, you can V reversal that. I think that's okay. Yeah, I don't think a lot of birdie players love fighting Mika. Mostly because she just gets in eventually against you. Tapped roundhouse, anti-air. You just have to guess on defense here, right? Yeah, fast Nadeshko. Jump, jump splash again to beat the anti-air. You lose a lot of life if he blocks the splash, but if he's not going to block, like, you know, he hasn't blocked it yet, right? So He dies to a giant swing, though. Too many times. He he committed to the jump like probably what, four or five times in that round? I think maybe expecting that Crusher would think like, all right, he's gonna drop kick, I'll block or whatever. Eventually though, you just have to like, you know, realize like that that fifty fifty game is a risk, and when you're low on life, you know, it's uh it's high risk, high reward. It's still a risk in Mika's favor because if Birdie doesn't answer here and she gets in, he might lose the round. And if you lose to a splash because you tried to answer here, you also might lose the round. And if he answers you with crouching medium, that's not the end of the world. That is crazy. This is, I feel like, the Fudo exclusive. When you neutral jump, he punishes it from like half screen away. Yeah, this is one of the weaknesses of Birdie on defense. You see how Mika, well, you can't really see, but trust me. This is dash up crouching jab, and it's safe to the EX reversal. And then you still get the punish. This is like Urian too, right? Activate, yeah. Slide activate was perfect there. Command throw. Meaty. That's plus even if you block it, so you can't go wrong. Ground throw, that's the worst thing to get hit by. <gasps> Be reversal. Ground throw is the worst, right? Because when you're crouching, she gets better Oki off this in the corner. Because she can walk up giant swing or walk up standing medium punch. Although he tried forward heavy punch, which he tried to V reversal, which he did strong to. If he buffered in a super here, he'd be the best player in the world. But how are you supposed to be ready for that? Minus eight. Not that many characters have a good punish on... The activation into the the V trigger, because it's pretty far, right? I mean, it's I think it's minus eight, but with pushback, so EX Peach is a good is a good choice. So it's it's five frames. Command throw. That's a fifty fifty, right? Because she has a command throw, she can do regular throw if Birdie jumps. He dies a crouching medium punch. Man, my nose is all messed up today. It's the weather. And also my nose is broken, so you know, sometimes it doesn't always cooperate. That's why uh, really good birdie players, by the way, one thing they do is they're always holding bullhorn. So and even in a situation like this where he misspaces the peach, jab, bullhorn, dash, you get good Oki here. This was streamed on twitch.tv slash evo. But the problem, the problem for Birdie is that he just dies so fast on his back to this character. Even though his neutral is really good, even though he has like a, a lot of other strengths, even right there, you saw the counter poking from Mika is actually really effective, right? Her forward medium kick is very annoying for him. She doesn't stick out a lot of buttons that Birdie will whiff punish. You know what I mean? 
That's one thing Birdie's really good at, is with punishing other people. Mika doesn't really give you a ton of those. Yeah. I mean, this setup is very good. Command throw. That stand jab, crouching medium punch. If you block this, she's plus. Plus one, which is very big against a character like Birdie, who has a four frame button. And then you just neutral jump and do fierce on the way down. Caught him jumping, smoked. Easy peasy. That's uh, easy peasy. That setup, <clears throat> you can't go wrong. Forward heavy punch there is super safe. You get a 50 50 after that. It was really well played. Dash up, crouching short, dash brimstone. Man. You're already cornered? You probably lost the round, right? Oh, okay. He was a little too far or a little too early or both. This is hard for um, Birdie. Even when Mika has, uh, what's it called? He was too late on the end here. Even when Birdie has the uh, V trigger too. This is a pretty common setup. Clap, jab. He probably missed the drop kick actually. Right here, it's 50-50 between command throw or strike. Jab, short, strong, peach. You can also meet a command throw there, right? Either one is fine. He got counter hit though, so I think um, I think either backdash or tried to hit a button. I didn't really look, to be honest. It's one of the two. E yeah. Man, if you don't check the drop kicks in a matchup like this, it's so hard. You see, this is why fighting games are so tough sometimes. Notice how this strong hits birdie there. Like, that's the first time you try to poke. Like, look at this. He tries a V reversal. Check. Drop kick. Blocks his way out. Finally tries the poke and gets smoked. And then he's like, oh, shit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't hit a button. Maybe I should. Uh, and then it's too late. There's, there's that moment where you're just like, okay, uh, I got hit by something. Okay, maybe I should block, and then it's too late. That's what's that's what's hard in a situation like that. He dies to, like, jab in an EX giant swing now. Oh, man. Nice backdash. You might as well try. You might as well, right? This is great, Oki. I think my read here, I think, is after he gets hit by this, walk up, he expects a wake up super. So he jumps after, because he's like, oh shit, he didn't wake up super. And then Fudo is like, oh, you think I'm going to wake up super? I'll just jump back on wake up. And now you activate Nadeshko here. Yep. What are you going to do? With delayed Nadeshko, if you jump this, you can see Nadeshko falls right there, right? If you jump that, you get hit and punished in the air by Nadeshko. The only way you get out of that is if you throw or command throw and get put in an animation. That was pretty hard. That right there, as soon as as soon as soon Fudo jumped and he didn't anti or anything, like, yeah, you were probably dead. See, even that punish, you didn't have uh, you didn't have bullhorn stored, so your punish kind of sucks because you didn't get Oki after, right? He didn't have V trigger yet. Punish? Oh no! Oh no! That's bad. Short strong. I don't think he even expected that to hit the dash go. Baited. No V trigger. You just have to guess. In this round, you just that you, there's not a lot you you have here, right? With birdie, at least you have bar, I guess. Man, this game, this game has just gone horrible, hasn't it? One time, he just keeps playing the gamble 50/50 on the jump, because the risk reward is so in his favor. And when that happens, like, all right, he was wrong, and then he was right, you know. 
So he's like, all right, I'll take it. Yeah, that command throw must have felt so bad for Crusher to miss, right? Regular throw, perfect. Oh, no. Fifty-fifty. I mean, what were you going to do there, too? I guess you could have jumped out. First of all, what a janky-looking setup. Clap. Activate. Walk under. Or walk and then jump. EX. Even if you jump out, notice that Nadeshko comes flying in. In a second, right? She comes flying in from the side. Like, she lands just right there. Even if you jumped out, you're going to get drop kicked. Damn. That was a beat down. Someone said I paused it on the core values. Look, it wasn't intentional. My core values are watching Street Fighter, all right? Anything else that happens, don't blame me.